version is also important so next one will be my frame shift mutation frame shift what kind of frame are we shifting here frame shift means the reading frame when the enzyme is making amino acid we know in the process of we have taken a look in the lower class about the process of uh, rna functions that is transcription translation in short we know that the enzyme will come and sit here and try to read this frame in terms of codons correct so now if this particular is my set of codons g c and t what if there is one amino acid added in between yes the frame suppose if a is added over here for example let's assume i add a in this so instead of g c t which is my normal frame now my frame will be g a c right so next frame will be t t a next frame will be something different that means my complete frame has got shifted ahead also second possibility is what if if this is not taking place yes there is no addition instead i have another concept of removal of this again my frame shifts to g t t the enzyme does not know that there was some kind of nucleotide here here we know that this was the nucleotide which has now got deleted again the same thing the frame has got shifted to one nucleotide ahead of it thus we will have again two basic types of things that is addition or simply called as insertion yes inserting of a new nucleotide new one or two nucleotide because of which the frame has got shifted or we can have deletion taking place correct because of which both of them giving rise to a change or a shift in the complete frame inver insertion or addition or deletion correct this was the third type now let's talk about the fourth type fourth type is very simple in which we either have nonsense mutations i know it's funny or we can also have miss sense mutations that means what that means certain changes sometimes it can happen there are certain stop codons also stop codon means now the enzyme when it is producing a particular type of protein do you think it will go on reading the complete dna till it ends no it will stop somewhere where is the gene stopping the gene stops at a particular point where there are signals these signals will be my stop codon for example when you say a u g is the beginning or the start codon similarly you have u a a or so many of them which act as stop codon so what if because of some kind of mutation or maybe just randomly in general you have a stop codon in between the enzyme will stop the synthesis there protein will not be produced that gives rise to nonsense mutation no sense absolutely right there is no kind of protein which is produced so what's the use of the gene if it is not producing the protein right so nonsense mutation is where a stop codon interferes in between whereas miss sense will be where a codon codon which is responsible or some kind of change such that a codon which is not responsible for producing any protein will be present in between so again the protein chain either stops or some kind of amino acid chain is produced in which the protein made is not having a function the protein is non functional protein it does not have any work thus it gives rise to something which we don't desire that is a protein having no functions correct this was about the four different types of gene mutations which can occur gene mutations or changes in the genes in the complete segment of the dna is what we are talking about in this we can have four major types that is substitution a purine by a pyrimidine or purine by purine or pyrimidine by pyrimidine we can have inversion of the complete gene sequence we can have shift in the frame of codons by either addition or deletion of these codons or we can have nonsense and missense mutations which occur in the complete segment of dna in the complete gene these changes or these mutations are brought about by what they are brought about by chemicals or they are brought about by certain radiations now these factors which will bring about mutations are called as mutagens these mutagens range from the x rays to the radio rays or to any kind of these you know rays around us to the certain chemicals ultraviolet light all of these factors can lead to formation of mutations inside our body inside the genes that we have 
that is the reason why we usually prefer staying away from all these right UV light or from x-rays and all these rays correct these are basically the types of gene mutations that you find these can either be spontaneously happening as in us right gene mutations can happen at any point of time we don't know when they happened right so these mutations can either be spontaneous yes happening all of a sudden when we don't really know them or they can also be induced in the particular organism when we study genetics when we study model organisms we try to induce mutations in them to study what happens that is where you give the organism an exposure to the mutagen and you carry out experiments thus spontaneous and induced are the types of genetic mutations which you find and these are the ways in which the gene can change giving rise to a complete different protein which can be non functional or a defective protein in short this was all about the concept of gene mutations that happen in the organisms now let's meet up in the next lesson where we talk about several types of genetic disorders may it be chromosomal mutations or may it be genetic mutations let's try talking about all these problems these disorders which you find in humans on a large scale thank you so much